So I posted some pictures on, uh, as I don't know, if it's Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or somewhere uh, out there of uh, some LED lights that I added to my boat. And since I did that, I've had about 14,000 emails from people wanting to know uh, how I installed them and uh, where I got them and all those kind of things. So I'm going to run through that just real quick. I have a hard time keeping up sometimes because I think people aren't going to notice things and people start asking questions and I can't get things out fast enough, especially this time of year. Springtime is just crazy for me trying to keep up with everything. So basically what I did is I decided that I wanted to add some LED light strips to the boat. Uh, the reason I did that, um, I, I went for, I used to have lights on the interior of my boat. And I went for years and years and years and didn't have any. And late this winter, I was out catching bait one morning, really, really early in the dark. And I stepped down off the deck of the boat in the dark and I busted my butt. And uh, I mean, it was complete and total wipeout. I was scraped up, bruised up. So I decided that I need to get some lights back on the inside of the boat. Uh, I didn't want anything that was really going to get in my way. And I decided to add LED lights. So what I did is mounted these on the gunnel, uh, just below the gunnel here on my ProCat 240. And I went all the way down this side of the boat. And they're just mounted on here with adhesive um, kind of pointing down-ish into the boat. That way the light doesn't shine into my eyes. Um, they came in a, a big long roll. When I got the roll, uh, I cut it. There's actually, it shows you, you know, where to cut on the LED light strip. I cut it in half. I put the hot end uh, of each strip right at the console, came forward with the strip, and then went back towards the back with the strip. And I'll turn these on here just so you can see. I'm going to show you what they look like at night also. But <clears throat> that's what they look like. Now, these came with the adhesive already on them. Um, I mounted them, just kind of wiped them off with uh, some cleaner, wiped the boat off with some cleaner when I mounted them. I don't know if I didn't get them clean enough or uh, get the boat clean enough or if it was the adhesive that came on them, but the strip in the front held for about three weeks and then it started coming loose. My guess is that it was probably a combination of me not cleaning it very well and the double-sided adhesive being cheap. So what I did when that happened is just went down to the auto parts store and bought a strip of 3M adhesive that they use for putting body trim on cars. I stuck it right on the back of this adhesive that was already on there, restuck it right back on the boat. I didn't clean it at all whatsoever and it's been stuck here good where it's not coming off for probably, you know, three, three and a half months now, something like that. Hadn't had any problems at all. I've been all over, you know, rough water, people rubbing against it, fishing rods hitting it, pressure washer going over it, all that kind of stuff. Didn't have any problems at all. I wired this into a switch on uh, my, con uh, beside my console into my nav lights. So when I turn my nav lights on, these come on. And then I also got a switch where I can shut these off and just have my nav lights on, um, either one. So that way, uh, you know, I, I have the ability to shut these things off if I want. Now what's really cool about these lights, they kind of look purple almost, but I think they're supposed to be blue. But they work almost like a black light. So the orange fishing line that I use, the uh, orange whisker seeker rods, uh, any, anything 
bright, really glows and pops in the dark when this light hits it. It makes it really easy to see everything. Uh, this one single strip of lights is more than enough light for me to see everything going on in the boat, tie knots, take fish off, do everything I need to do without ever turning another light on again. So that's how I did this. Um, you know, super cheap, again, less than 20 bucks, maybe $23, $24 if you add the 3M adhesive I had to add to them. Um, you know, there wasn't anything to it at all. Literally took me about 10, 15, 20 minutes to get them put in and was up and running. So here's what they look like at night. This is kind of a crappy little iPhone video, so it doesn't really show. And I was actually underneath the street light when I was filming this. So it really doesn't do it justice, but these things really put off a lot of light. So uh, there you go. For all the people that have been sending me questions, wanting to know what kind of lights I used, how I put them in, how well they work, all those kind of things, there's your answer, and uh, I don't know what else to say. Definitely, I would say well worth the $15, $20 investment uh, for safety reasons. People can really see you coming across the water when you got these things turned on. Uh, people around the lake have been joking, calling me the pimp. So uh, there you go. I'll be back very soon with some more videos. I'm going to do a walkthrough on the Sea Arc Pro Cat 240. Talk about some sonar electronics tips, some tips for catching blue catfish here this time of year, later part of the spring. Some channel catfish tips on how to load the boat with channel catfish, some baits and other stuff coming up. Make sure you head over to catfishedge.com, subscribe to the email list so you can stay in the know. Till next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.